They say it takes money to make money, and nowhere is this principle more visible than in the richest countries in the world. After all, these countries are so resourceful and prosperous that it almost seems like they can effortlessly create wealth. Now, if you are curious to know which countries I am talking about, stay tuned, because that's exactly what you are about to discover in this video. You are watching the top 10 richest countries in the world. And in this video, I am going to show you who are the top 10 richest countries in the world, how they became so rich, and also how much their average citizen makes. But before we begin, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We here at Top 10 Luxury Edition are always uploading videos for you to take a sneak peek into the world of luxury. And if you like this type of content, also hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And without further ado, here are the Top 10 Richest Countries in the World. Number 10. United Arab Emirates Located in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, the United Arab Emirates, or UAE for short, is a country with vast oil and natural gas reserves, so much so that it controls 6% of the world's oil reserves, is one of the most important members of the OPEC, the organization of most powerful petroleum exporting countries in the world, and makes hundreds of billions of dollars in oil exports every year. And as you can expect, all of this oil brought huge economic prosperity to the UAE. And today, there are over 87,000 millionaires in the country, 13 billionaires, and the average citizen makes a whopping $58,000. What's more, the number of ultra-wealthy people, that is, those with a net worth of more than $30 million, is rising at an incredible pace, since lots of wealthy foreigners are moving to Dubai and Abu Dhabi, two of the most beautiful and luxurious cities in the world. Now, besides being an oil giant, the UAE is also turning itself into a prominent business hub, and it is doing its best to attract big businesses and scoop up talent from all over the world. So unlike its neighbors that are highly dependent on oil, the UAE is taking the steps to diversify its economy and become even richer in the future. Number 9. Hong Kong Located in Asia, Hong Kong is one of the world's most prominent financial centers and home to some of the most important financial institutions. And on top of that, it is also a place with a vibrant entrepreneurial spirit, with startups in the fintech and technology sectors popping up by the hundreds every day. Well, no wonder Hong Kong is the ninth richest country in the world, having a total of 520,000 millionaire residents, 71 billionaire residents, and with the average citizen making more than $62,000 per year. Now, what's good about Hong Kong is that there are plenty of things to do while here, especially if you are a very rich person. For instance, you can visit one of the many Michelin-starred restaurants in the city, have a cocktail on the terrace of a skyscraper, or go cruising through Victoria Bay in a super yacht. Truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 8. Brunei Located in the Borneo Island in Southeast Asia, Brunei is a country known for its rich Islamic culture, intact rainforests, and also its abundant oil and gas reserves. And like most countries with vast oil reserves, the bulk of their wealth comes from exporting it. In fact, oil is so abundant here that the Brunei government doesn't even have to tax the income of its citizens, and more than two-thirds of the country's GDP comes from oil exports. Now, on paper, Brunei is an extremely rich country, with the average resident earning more than $62,000. But some say those figures are a gross overestimation. After all, wealth is extremely concentrated in the hands of a few oil barons, while the average person doesn't have much to show for. Number 7. United States And the seventh richest country in the world is the United States, a country famous for being filled with opportunities, freedom, and also for being the poster child of capitalism in the Western world. But what most people don't know about the U.S. is that it emerged as the leading economic power way back in the 1940s, right after World War II, when all of the great European powers got wiped out because of the conflict. Back then, the driving forces of the economy were the military and manufacturing industries. And today, they are the technology industry, represented by giants such as Google, Facebook and Apple, and the finance industry, being home to some of the biggest banks and hedge funds in the world. Now, when measured by total wealth, the U.S. is the richest country in the world, but when measured by GDP per capita, it is the seventh. With the average resident making more than $63,000 per year and also boasting an extremely large number of 22 millionaire millionaire residents and 642 billionaire residents. What's more, the U.S. is also home to some of the biggest and most impressive business hubs in the world. 
such as Wall Street in New York, the world's financial center and home to the biggest stock exchange in the world, and also Palo Alto, the heart of Silicon Valley. So as you can see, the U.S. economy is now more competitive than ever, and it is likely to continue as a leading economic power for a long time to come. Number 6. Switzerland Switzerland is an iconic country in Central Europe. It barely has any natural resources, has no access to the sea, and its cold and mountainous climate is no good for agriculture. However, because of its extraordinary banking and finance sectors, the country enjoys the status of being one of the richest and most prosperous in the world. For instance, 15% of the adult population has more than $1 million in net worth, and the average Swiss citizen earns more than $72,000. And with such a high number of millionaires, no wonder Switzerland is synonymous with luxury and good fortune. Now, there are two reasons why Switzerland is very rich despite its perceived setbacks. First, because of its loose tax and banking laws, which has attracted tons of businesses and individuals looking to park their money without a hassle. And also because of its stable political and economic system, which has been a hallmark of the country since the 19th century. So as you can see, the Swiss really know how to create something out of nothing. Number 5. Qatar Located in the heart of the Middle East, Qatar is a small country with less than 3 million people, less than 5,000 square miles of area, and up until the 70s, it was also very poor. But since the oil boom started, Qatar's GDP has skyrocketed. After all, it controls close to one-sixth of the world's oil reserves and has the third largest gas reserves in the world. And today, it is one of the most productive and prosperous economies in the world, with the average citizen earning more than $93,000 per year and having more than 50,000 millionaires as residents. What's more, Qatar has one of the highest densities of millionaires in the world, with more than 10% of households in the country having more than $1 million in net worth. Thankfully, it's not only the ultra-rich that have access to a good quality of life because the average Qatar citizen is also part of all of this economic prosperity, and the unemployment rate here is less than 0.2%. Number 4. Ireland Back in the 60s, Ireland used to be one of the poorest countries in Europe. However, since the rise of technology and the information age, Ireland has attracted a massive number of tech companies, such as Google, Microsoft, and Facebook, which now have headquarters and research centers here. And because of that, the GDP of this small country has skyrocketed in the past few decades, taking it from being one of the poorest countries in Europe to being the fourth richest country in the world. And today, there are 15 Irish billionaires, 78,000 millionaires, and the average Irish resident earns more than $94,000. Now, politicians and government officials like to prop up those numbers as evidence of a job well done, but the average Joe complains that he is still as poor as he has ever been. After all, most of that wealth is unevenly distributed, since most of the profits these tech giants make go back to their place of origin. But the fact remains, even if only on paper, that Ireland is one of the richest countries in the world. Number 3. Singapore Located on the Malay Peninsula in Southeast Asia, Singapore is a very small island country, especially when compared to its neighbors Malaysia and Indonesia. But despite its small size, it is one of the most prominent business hubs in Asia with a vibrant real estate market, booming tech industry full of innovative startups, and countless opportunities for people looking for work in a disruptive environment. Now, some say Singapore became such a tech powerhouse because of its loose business regulations, while others say that it was because of its flexible tax laws that, in turn, attracted most large multinational companies. But no matter the reason, the fact is that Singapore's economy is growing at an impressive rate. For instance, there are more than 270,000 millionaires here, not bad for a country with less than 6 million people, and the average Singaporean citizen makes more than $97,000 per year. And it is not uncommon for you to see luxury sports cars driving through the city or super yachts cruising through the Marina Bay. Now, if you think that the Singaporean people are already satisfied by what they have accomplished, you are in for a surprise, because they have big and bold plans of becoming the richest country in the world by 2050. Number 2. Luxembourg Also known as the billionaire's capital of Europe, Luxembourg is a small landlocked country in Central Europe famous for its rich culture, stress-free way of life, and most importantly, its loose banking and tax laws. And because of that, it is the go-to tax haven for large multinational companies and wealthy people who want to safely park their money. 
thus bringing a massive influx of foreign capital to this tiny country and also creating an insurmountable demand for financial services. Well, no wonder Luxembourg is one of the richest countries in the world. For instance, there are more than 42,000 millionaires out of a small population of 600,000 inhabitants. The average resident makes more than $109,000 per year, and the entire atmosphere of this small city-state oozes luxury and elegance. With its extravagant avenues filled with Michelin-starred restaurants, exclusive beer and wine festivals, and dozens of castle hotels, truly a fantastic place. Number 1. Monaco Also known as the Billionaire's Playground, Monaco is located on the western European Mediterranean coast, and it is famous for its impressive high roller casinos, crazy yacht parties, and endless entertainment options for the rich. Now, the thing about Monaco is that it oozes wealth and luxury, and that's not even an exaggeration. For instance, the average Monaco resident earns more than $185,000 per year, more than a third of residents are millionaires, and, literally, there is no poverty here. What's more, everything in this city-state is made with the ultra-rich in mind, and it is not uncommon for you to see super sports cars speeding through Monte Carlo Avenue, the largest and most luxurious avenue in the country. Now, the reason why Monaco is so rich is that it is a dream come true for ultra-wealthy individuals from all over the world. After all, here in Monaco, there is no income tax, no property tax or wealth tax, no capital gains tax, and barely any corporate tax. So as you can see, it is quite literally a tax haven, and rich individuals from all over the world come here looking for a place to protect their hard-earned money from taxation, and also have lots of fun in the meantime. Alright, and those were the top 10 richest countries in the world. As you can see, our list has countries from the four corners of the world, and that goes to show you just how greatly interconnected the modern economic system really is. Now, I want to hear from you. Which one of these countries did you like the most? Let me know in the comments section down below. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and until next time.